everybody, this is John with Cruise Fever. We had a chance to check out Regal Princess on her inaugural voyage out of Port Everglades, Florida. This is a sister ship to Royal Princess. It is a 142,000 ton ship, 1,082 feet long, 126 feet in breadth. Holds about 3,500 passengers and 1,300 crew. So we're going to have a complete visual video tour of Regal Princess here, starting out with the pool deck. This was the 50th so a 50th anniversary for Princess Cruise Lines. So they're going to be having special events and celebrations across all their ships fleet-wide. Here on the Lido deck you can see the main pool there and there is one hot tub on each side of that. And then one deck above, on deck 17, there are two more hot tubs. One shown here. And the plunge pool is at the other end of the pool deck. Royal and Regal Princess have the largest video displays at sea right now. The screens are amazingly clear, 33 feet wide, 20 feet high. You can watch some movies at nighttime there with a blanket, grab some popcorn. And uh, the fountain displays are really awesome as well. They have four different shows. They show at nighttime. During the daytime, they have loungers set up there. These fountains shoot about 30 feet in the air. They're played to music, choreographed with what's going on the, the LED screen as well. One of the highlights of the ship for a lot of cruisers is the Sea Walk. First at sea for Royal Princess, and now moved over here to the Regal Princess. The ship's in port here, so you don't get the full effect. I have some other shots later on that'll show you. But 128 feet over the ocean floor, and you're at sea, endless views on either side. You might get a little bit of vertigo when walking like I was over the 1.1 inch glass, but changes to beautiful lighting at night and uh, always people getting pictures here and the kids looking down through the glass and getting real excited about it. So a really cool feature on Regal Princess. These are cantilevered on either side of the ship. On the opposite side of what you see here is Sea View Bar. This is Sea View Bar area. We can get a drink and enjoy the beautiful view. Now let's check out the retreat pool. This is one of my favorite parts of the ship. It's an adult only pool and there are cabanas around the pool as well that you can rent out for the day if you'd like to use them or use the loungers behind them. There are two hot tubs in this part of the ship. It's a very relaxing part of the ship, and at nighttime, uh, it's even more tranquil as you'll see here. This nighttime shot. And right behind the retreat pool is the sanctuary, adults only as well. There is a fee to get in to use it for a half day is twenty dollars, a full day is forty dollars, and there's other deals you can get for the full week. You can see those little private cabanas as well that you can rent out. It's got your own TV screen and headphones and a little sitting area. But a beautiful part of the ship, always tranquil and quiet and a great view. There's also an area in the sanctuary where you can get a massage and have a great view of the ocean as well. This is run by the Lotus Spa, but it's in a different part of the ship. Terrace Pool is the aft pool on the ship. It's a smaller pool, but a great area to cool off, and it's usually quiet back here as well. It's surrounded by loungers. 
this is something Royal Princess did not have and that many requests to have put on this ship. Alright, now we'll check out the youth and teen centers versus the Princess Pelicans. This is for ages 3 to 7. We'll look at Shockwaves, which is ages 8 to 12, and Remix for ages 13 to 17. Princess has partnered with Discovery, and they have all kinds of neat yeah. activities for the kids involving Mythbusters, um, Shark Week, and also Gold Rush. So, pretty cool. Let's check out some of the areas here in the youth and teen centers. It's also an outdoor area for the teens to go out there and enjoy a hot tub and some time in the sun. Let's check out the sports court. This is right above the Youth and Teen Center. They're doing some fitness this day. They'll do some zoom out here as well. A really nice basketball court, well laid out. Plenty of room to play basketball, soccer, volleyball here. And on some days they'll set up like a batting cages thing so you can take some swings at some pitches. And the other side you can throw the ball and the, it'll tell you how fast you can throw. So really great thing for basketball and softball players. Little driving range here as well, so you can keep up with your swing. And on the other side is the game lounge. We have a couple ping pong tables, a foosball table, and a bullseye simulator as well, right in that door in the top right of your screen. Shuffleboard court is right above the basketball court. Offers some great views, and right uh, near that is a little putting green. We'll have competitions with uh, mini golf, and they'll also play some bocce up here on this lawn court. I really like the running track on Regal Princess because it's kind of apart from the other part of the ships. So you're not running around the pool deck and bumping into people and loungers. It's separate from all that. So really nice and wide and seven times around is a mile. But if you want to run in place while looking at some great ocean views, you can check out the fitness center here, some top of the line equipment and the screens. Some of them have little simulators where you'll be racing against other people or this one here is like a little go-kart you're running around as you pedal you go faster and faster so uh kind of neat thing lotus spas on deck five forward of the ship it's very contemporary and luxurious feeling very clean and here we're going to check out the beautiful Enclave, which consists of a hydrotherapy pool, um, steam rooms, uh, dry saunas, and uh, some beautiful showers. Here's the main part of the Enclave. You can see the hydrotherapy pool has a rain shower in the middle and uh, bubbles that'll come up from the bottom when it's running. And you have those heated loungers, those heated beds on uh, either side. There's uh, two steam rooms, Turkish style and a Roman style steam room. And this is the dry sauna, the Laconium. And these are the heated water beds, great place to relax after soaking in the hydrotherapy pool. And there's four different showers having different aromas, like tropical rain, cold mist, Siberian shower, to kind of rinse off, but still have a nice, um, nice aroma on you after you're done. This area is for a couple's massage, has a nice soaking tub, and also a, a shower room. Very relaxing environment. There's a water bed right there in this treatment room, and a shower. And this is one of the 18 treatment rooms, typically what they will look like for uh, massages, hot stone, and, and all those treatments. This is a relaxation lounge before or after your treatment or massage. You can come in here, get some water, some tea, or lemonade, and uh, just kind of relax a little bit. Nice relaxing music in the background. This is a changing room. 
with uh, bathrooms and showers and lockers where you can put your clothes and belongings. The most beautiful part of the ship, in my opinion, I love this area, the piazza, the atrium, the heart of the ship is 50% larger than Princess other ships. And it is so spacious and open and luxurious, just a beautiful area. A lot of entertainment will go on down there. Uh, musicians will play. Um, and we're going to take you around some of the areas throughout the atrium here. the guest services uh, area. Celebrations is a place where you can get some candy or some flowers or some gifts for a uh, family member, loved one. International Cafe is a great place to get some cookies or a pastry, get some coffee or tea. Right here you have these loose leaf tea uh, containers here where you can pick out different kinds of tea to have for that day. This is Vines, a uh, wine bar here on the ship. And I highly recommend checking out some gelato from Gelato. The bar piazza is there on deck five. Another area to relax and maybe watch some entertainment happening in the middle of the piazza. There's a couple more wine bars, Bellinis you have there, right in the middle. Kind of a floating lounge over the atrium. There's a place where you can pick up your photos. It's easy to scan your card and, and find uh, the photos under your account. Club 6 is a nightclub on the ship, on deck 6. And let's check out the casino, which is also on deck number six. This is also where one of the muster drills will take place. Muster station C. Beautiful staircase going down to the middle there. And at the top of that staircase is where Calypso is, one of the main uh, shopping centers or gift shops aboard Regal Princess. And we'll take a look at a few of the shops that can be found around the ship to buy perfume, jewelry, watches. Crooner's Bar and Lounge is on deck seven, right over the main atrium there. It's a good spot to kind of watch what's going on in the piazza. They will also have uh, entertainment here, live musicians playing the piano every night. Princess Live is a really cool part of Regal Princess. It's a live television studio. They'll do all kinds of things from game shows to cooking shows. And uh, while we were on the ship, they actually had a question and answer time for the cast of The Love Boat. So that was really fun. This is uh, Mike from Cruise Currents asking a really intriguing question to The Love Boat cast. But a really cool place to check out. Make sure you check out the Princess Patter to see what kind of events are going on at Princess Live. And right outside Princess Live is Princess Live Cafe, where you can grab something to drink. It's a beautiful library on board Regal Princess. Not very big, but has all kinds of books and games and very nice decor. The Internet Cafe allows you to keep in touch with your friends at home and your emails. The internet speed is actually a lot better than other ships I've been on. So, uh, Vista Lounge is a place where they have comedians, they have musicians. I think they had the Beatles do something there. Uh, and Troy Third Guild did an awesome um, comedic session while we were on board. This is on deck seven aft of the ship. Let's check out some of the places to eat on board Regal Princess. Uh, the Horizon Bistro is the first part of the buffet. Found the buffet to be nice and spacious. I mean, the thing is huge. Uh, tons of food options, really good choices. Really enjoy the buffet. Right in the middle there is the pastry shop, my favorite part of the buffet. All kinds of cookies and pastries and delightful um, things to eat, and breads. So always check out the pastry shop when you're walking by. Here's 
few of the things that they were offering. And Horizon Court is the, the back half of the buffet. Now on Princess Cruise Lines, you don't have to grab your utensils and get your drink and then kind of balance your plate. You just sit down and someone will come to you and ask you what you want to drink and your utensils will be there or they'll bring them to you. But if you do want something to drink or get your own, you can go to the middle between the Horizon Court and Bistro and there's that drink station there. Outrigger's Bar is after the ship, right behind the buffet. Nice little place to check out the views. On Lido Deck, there is the Prego Pizzeria and Trident Grill, where you can get some burgers and fries right on the Lido Deck. And of course, Swirls has amazing soft serve ice cream throughout the day. Symphony and Concerto dining rooms are for anytime dining, and they are on deck five and six. So we'll check out Symphony first, and Concerto looks pretty much the same, but we'll show you some uh, views of that as well. Allegro dining room is for the traditional dining. Early seating at 545, late seating at 815. This is the chef's table area for that exquisite chef's table experience. Here's a wheelhouse bar and crown grill. The wheelhouse bar area is a nice lounge where you have live music going on at nighttime. And the crown grill is a specialty steakhouse. They also have Really good seafood. It's $25 per person surcharge. And Sabatini is also $25 surcharge. One of the specialty dining areas. Wonderful Italian cuisine. This is on deck five, uh, right off the main atrium. If you want some really excellent pizza or calzone, gotta check out Alfredo's. It is included in your cruise price there, so it doesn't cost anything extra. It's open from 11 to 11. It's on deck six midship. Really excellent pizzas there. I'll tell you what, I miss my Alfredo's pizza already. Princess Theater on Regal Princess is their largest theater at sea. It's really not a bad seat in the house. You'll notice there's no balcony or another uh, deck above this, this main deck here. But uh, unless you're in the way, way back, you pretty much have a good viewing angle of the shows. Uh, really good quality singers in these shows. Here's some of the shows that they'll have throughout the week. And again, want to congratulate Princess Cruise Lines. I wish them a happy 50th anniversary. Enjoyed being on Regal Princess. Hope to go back on it again soon. Uh, we have a a tour of our balcony room a video of that we'll have a link to that below and uh, be sure to check out cruisefever.net for more videos check out our channel subscribe here on youtube thanks a lot guys